Oral Roberts. He is recognized as one of the outstanding personalities of this generation. Educator, evangelist, businessman, author, and television personality are among the many titles for which he has gained world acclaim. He is the founder and president of Oral Roberts University, with a campus valued at $250 million. Oral Roberts is the founder of the City of Faith Healthcare Center, the largest facility of its kind in the world. He is a man who has changed nations with his message of God's healing power. Oral Roberts is listed in Who's Who in America, Webster's American Biographies, and the World Almanac Book of Who. Ladies and gentlemen, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, please welcome Oral Roberts. I don't know where to shout or to cry, or to sit down or to kneel, to feel the power of God, of the Holy Ghost, moving in a new sanctuary, unashamedly set aside for God, for the Holy Ghost, for Jesus, for souls to be saved, the sick to be healed, the demon possessed to be delivered, new lives, that's what this means, this whole thing means. Eleven years after I began the healing ministry, from 1947 to 1958, in that year, 1958, a, a man came to Tulsa by the name of John Osteen, and I heard about John Osteen the first time, a Southern Baptist preacher who had received the baptism of the Holy Ghost. my college education and seminary education, I spent three years of it at Oklahoma Baptist University in Shawnee, Oklahoma. And I had come to love a people, the Baptist people, who really believed in being born again, who believed in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, who were one of the richest people of God in their souls and lives in this world. But, but the light had not shone yet the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So things were stirring in me when I heard about a Baptist man who had been seminary trained by the Baptist, coming in a Tulsa baptized with the Holy Ghost. The same Holy Ghost who had lifted me up and sent me to heal the sick and cast out devils. The same Holy Ghost who had given me a new language to pray in and interpret back to my mind, I went to hear him. And I sat back and I felt it going down my spine. And I heard the words and I said, he's got it. He's got it. Now, the sister, when you put the baptism of the Holy Ghost on top of a Southern Baptist education and life in Christ, you got something for this world. Glory to God, hallelujah. And I met John, I met Dodie, and I met people who began to walk in the Holy Ghost. And the years passed. We opened a university, and out of Houston began to come Osteens. I never saw so many Osteen children. Paul goes to the undergraduate school. We opened the medical school. He's right there to get his MD degree. And then Joel. I'm not talking about Joel in the Bible. I mean Joel Osteen. And then Lisa. And Tamara. And then April. And we ran out. <laughs> and they said we got one more, but he's the oldest one, Justin. And I met Justin that. I said, where you been, Oakland? Oral Roberts University is waiting on you, Justin. <laughs> I want to get them all. I didn't know that as we got involved with John and Dodie and their family, that one day my son Richard 
would come to an experience in his life when he missed God's ideal. And the good folks wanted to throw him on the ash heap. And three or four men of God, two of them are here tonight, reached out and got hold of him. One was Dr. Kenneth Hagin. Another was John Osteen. Brought him down here to preach at Lakewood. Laid his hands on him, and this great church began to pray with him, with my son. And friend, when you talk about your son or your daughter, you're talking about your blood, you're talking about your life. Thank God I can stand up here tonight and look out at my big tent. My big tent. And I understand there are 2,000 that can't get in. It reminded me of an old boy came to our tent and, and, and they said, how was it? He said, it was great. I had a wonderful place to stand. I love it tonight. See all of you standing. Praise God. John and Dodie, I hug you in Jesus' name. And Dodie, I just have one feeling of jealousy. I am so jealous. I get up, I'm introduced, and I got to do it all. And my darling wife, Evelyn, sits back and doesn't get the MC nothing. And furthermore, she won't MC nothing. And here you are up here just stealing the whole thing from John. John, we pray for you. May the Lord raise up John. God bless this great occasion tonight in Lakewood Church. Hallelujah. Kenneth E. Hagan. He is recognized as one of this generation's outstanding spiritual leaders. His ministry has revitalized the body of Christ in the areas of faith, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, and world evangelism. He is the founder of Rama Bible Training Center, an institute for training men and women to fulfill the Great Commission. The graduates of this school have gone throughout the world preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Kenneth Hagan is the author of 85 books, and his Faith Seminar of the Air radio program has broadcast daily on more than 100 radio stations for over 21 years. Kenneth Hagan stands in the very forefront of this generation's distinguished spiritual leaders. Ladies and gentlemen, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, please welcome Kenneth Hagan. Glory to God. What a thrill. I preached in the feed barn. <laughs> then Brother Osteen came back, and he was in the feed barn. Amen. <laughs> feed store. And uh, he, he, he kept saying to him, Brother Hagin, I want you to come preach for me, but, you know, we can only seat about 243, and uh, we're going to build a building that will seat 1,000. So he built a building that would seat a thousand, and we came. And then the next year, we came back and dedicated the building to seat two thousand. And then the next year, we came back and dedicated the building to seat three thousand. And then we kept building up to about four or five thousand. Thank God, it can be said concerning Lakewood and Houston as it was in the Acts of the Apostles the 19th chapter and the 20th verse, so mightily grew the word of God and prevailed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We love John and Dodie Osteen. They've been a real blessing to us. I met him first at a full gospel business convention 30 years ago. Amen. And then some years after preaching here in Houston and around the suburban towns and cities and so on and so forth. Had great fellowship with him. And he had already established John Osteen Evangelistic Association and we were about to establish Kenneth Hagin Evangelistic Association. And it was here in Houston that the Lord supernaturally, spectacularly, supernaturally used him and then spoke to me. 
And Brother Osteen said, Brother Hagin, just I asked him if he could help me. He said, just, just keep crawling when you ought to be walking. And keep walking when you ought to be crawl when you ought to be running and keep running when you ought to be flying so i took his advice and just kept crawling for a long time god spectacularly spoke to me here in houston uh, and told me four different outreaches of ministry one of them was put all of your messages particularly the day teaching in tape on tape and and also in book and lesson form and in english language here in america besides the millions in fact, we have over two million books circulating in Russia right now in the Russian language. But, <laughs> praise God. You see, we help one another. He helped me. I just kept crawling, kept crawling. But thank God we published here in America and have circulated 36 million books. Amen. Hallelujah. We are, we are, we are members one of another. Thank God for everything that he's done, is doing, and will yet do. So I preached in the feed store or feed barn or whatever it was. I preached in the first building. I preached in the second one. And every time he enlarges, I come and preach. So I guess I'm going to have to come back now. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Glory. Bless you. T. L. Osborne, a pace setter in missionary evangelism, he is a world-renowned missionary statesman, best known for his overseas miracle ministry to millions. He and his wife Daisy have preached in nearly 70 nations to phenomenal crowds of up to a quarter of a million people. Many of the Osborne Crusades have made a national impact of historic proportions. T. L. Osborne has published literature in 132 languages, produced powerful films in 65 languages, and provided huge stockpiles of soul-winning tools worldwide. T. L. Osborne is truly one of the 20th century's great soul winners. Ladies and gentlemen, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, please welcome T. L. Osborne. Thank you. You may be seated. Good evening. God bless you. Bravo to you. My salute to Pastor John Osteen and Lady Doty for the love that you have for not only this beautiful home front of America, but for the whole world. It reaches out from you, emanates from you to the world, and you are loved. Tonight, I think of the platforms that I have stood on around the world in over 70 nations, facing millions of people to give them the message of Christ. No platform have I ever stood on more epitomizes what God wants in a man and in a woman of his. A platform where Jesus Christ can be honored and where the Holy Spirit can take possession of the person and transmit, take Jesus and transmit him to hurting people. In this beautiful new house of prayer the sick will be brought and they'll go away happy the weary will be brought and they'll go away refreshed the lame will come on crutches or canes or other supports and walk away dancing on new legs the blind will be led in and they'll go away seeing with new eyes the deaf will come in in a tomb of silence and sound will burst into their ears as they discover Jesus in new ears. And the lonely and the hurting and the bruised and the forgotten will come here.
to this oasis of love and discover the greatest miracle power there is in this world, the love of Jesus Christ that takes a nobody and makes a somebody out of them. That's what this is all about. Lakewood Church and Oasis of Love. Pastor John and Dodie, uh, Daisy joins me in the salute to you. I have the honor of joining with over 1,000 pastors and Christian leaders in on the occasion of this dedication of this beautiful new sanctuary in presenting to you a beautiful plaque to honor this milestone, this day of new beginnings. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in honoring Pastor John Osteen of Lakewood Church. Please come forward, John. Oh, my. Give Jesus a hand clap. My, what a surprise. What a surprise. 